going for. I mean, this is the furthest I've been. Uh, I got to this point the last time we did the head-to-head -head draft and the draft champions to that third game. I like this team. Uh, I haven't really had a situation where Mark Sanchez hurt me. So I'm wondering, like I said, you know, at the in the last, you know, in this draft, do you really even need to get a quarterback? Because you can, seems like you can come up, you know, pretty good. We're playing the Rams. It's 254 left. Oh, and this Ram defense is on Forte. They saw what he did last week. It was a Forte all day. So they on me. They on me. Maybe they didn't see. I like to imagine that they saw, but they didn't see. They get the first down here on the nice little run. It looks like, a, I think that was a counter play. They gave it to the full, no, no counter play. They gave it to the fullback. Whatever. Uh, was that Justin Forsett? I, I couldn't see. I'm sorry. Whatever. That was a good play. Because if it was four set, I know it wasn't four. But Flacco is their quarterback, and um, they're moving the ball right now. It's 3.20 left in the second quarter. Flacco drops back again, runs the screenplay, but we sniff it out. We sniff it out. We got three fat guys on that. We got three fat guys on that. 2.42 left in the second quarter. Look at Sanchez throwing a little, the little out play. Well, that wasn't the out. That was a crossing pattern, but you know what I mean. Gets the, gets the pass to Calvin Johnson. The handoff to Forte. He bounces it outside. Got a good block there. Ooh, they went high low on him. They went high low on him. They are on Forte. They are on him. 155 left. Still no score here in the uh, this, uh, the first half. Winds down. Going deep down the middle. Jimmy Graham. Every single game, Jimmy Graham has come up with a big catch for me. He really should be my, my, my guy. But I got Calvin Johnson too, so I'm feeling pretty good about these wide receivers and the tight end situation. You got to do that if you got Sanchez as the quarterback. You know, you got to come up with some guys to make some big time catches. That may be the way to go, to be honest. You know, go more for receivers and tight ends than you do for the quarterback. So I don't know. We'll see. Going into the end zone, not looking at this in retrospect, I went for Sammy because Sammy was good for me before, right? But the running back was wide open. The running back was wide open. He really was. But we have to settle for the field goal. We have a three to nothing lead at the half. So. I'm feeling pretty decent, but it's six seconds left. Flacco's back. I thought we had a lead at the half. Oh, what a catch, but he could not get in the end zone. Jordy Nelson rolls. Whoo, that was close. Three to nothing still. First play from scrimmage in the third quarter. Oh my God. First of all, that's Antonio Gates. Have you seen Antonio Gates run recently? He ain't running that fast anymore. I believe in my heart that somebody would have caught him. But he goes in for the touchdown. It's seven to three. Forte, he's not breaking off huge chunks, but he's breaking them off nonetheless. Sanchez managing the game the way we want him to do. So we're still right here. It's two minutes left in the third quarter. We don't need to rush anything. We don't need to get crazy. Just need to be safe with the ball, right? Sanchez got a couple options, but he's gonna run. Is he gonna run? Is he gonna? Is, is he gonna run? Oh my God! Sanchez is a hot dog. Mark Sanchez, Twinkle Toe Sanchez, down the sidelines is a hot. That run, that might have been the best run of of the whole. Was there a better run yet in my draft champions experience? And then right after he does that, he holds the ball too long. Let it go, Mark. Let it go. We got to settle for another field goal. You can't keep settling for field goals. I'm going to tell you that right now. You just can't keep settling for field goals. want to put, look at this. That was straight lag. Look at this lag. That, that cost me six, that cost me three points. We were going to cut this to one and the lag came in. And I was just talking about the service. Just talking about them. Cost me three points. I mean, it's not consistently bad, but that was a really inopportune time for it to rear its head. It was. Got Brent Grimes a quarterback. I didn't tell y'all that before. Man. But meanwhile, what is wrong with T.Y. Hilton? T.Y. Hilton has passed out in the middle of the Bears huddle. And nobody, he just laying there. Did he drop his contact lens or something? He just laying in the grass like he on protest or something. And he's sitting there humming, we shall not be moved. But he gonna move. Look at this. We got burned again. They got some speed, and you can't get burned like that. We look, and we're down 14 to, th 14 to 3. Two and a half minutes left in the fourth quarter. Sanchez got time. He's got time. He had, oh my God, what am I looking at here? 
Instead, we go way down the sidelines with that mess. You had people to throw to, and you chose not to throw it to them, Mark. Somehow we get the ball back, but it's only a minute 49 seconds remaining, and then that just makes everything bad. He clapped it up on me. Again, we got to this part. We got to, the, got to this point in the Draft Champions event and simply got beat. But you know what? This one's different, though, because that missed, the, the, that lag issue on that field goal, that was big. That was pretty big. But I got to show you this run again by Sanchez because, I mean, this was pretty sick. He just spun on Wilbur. He just spun on Wilbur. Then he put that juke on Jonathan Cyprian. I mean, he's a hot dog. And then he spins on Tyler Hall. He done spun, but we lost. <laughs> but, you know, at the, at the end of the day, that's what they're going to say. You lost. And um, I'm not, I don't like it. I haven't won a, I think this was almost my third one. I haven't won a draft champion championship yet. I'm starting to wonder about what's really going on in my life. I appreciate you watching, though. God bless and peace.